Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be simulating an Arduino circuit in the Proteus software. So first, you, you need to have the Arduino IDE and the Proteus design suite. So let's go ahead and simulate. First is we're going to open Proteus 8 Professional. So I'm using this version is Proteus 8.9. Yes, version 8.9. So this is your Proteus design suite. And of course, you can open a new project, but you can also click this schematic capture and save it later. Okay, so this is now your Proteus environment, schematic capture. I'd just like to show you first that Proteus doesn't have an Arduino board pre-installed. So if you click P on your keyboard, you can access the devices or the list of components. And if you search for Arduino, it doesn't have any Arduino board, but it does have Arduino connectors. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the Arduino library. So I'm just going to close this first. Why did I open it in the first place? I do not know. So, all right. So let's first search for Proteus Arduino library. You can download from anywhere, basically, but this one is a good source. It's the engineeringprojects.com, so you can search for just the Proteus Arduino library and you will be redirected to this. So if you're using Arduino Uno, Mega, Nano, whatsoever, we can just download the whole library from here. All right, we cannot download the Arduino library for Proteus. Okay. So let's unzip this one. Okay, we're going to be, maybe I can just open in the vinegar or something. All right, so you can, you can extract it or whatever. You can extract it, but I don't have an extractor for this computer. So let's just go ahead and copy these files to extract files. We can extract files to a specified folder. And um, yes, we can extract it here. All right, so this is now the files containing the library. So we need to copy these two files. And I don't know how to copy it. Yes, we need to copy these two files. And then let's go to, let's find the Lab Center Electronics folder where Proteus is inside it. So you can just click Program Files or Program Data, but mine is in Program Data. And look for Lab Center Electronics and then Proteus 8 Professional. And then go to the library. Now make sure that it really has a folder named Library. Otherwise, you need to find it somewhere. All right now this is where as this is where we paste our Arduino simulator or our Arduino library. As you can see, it has .idx and .lib extension. Now, right? So we need to paste what we have just copied. So let's paste it here. And here it is, Arduino library. Okay, and if we open it again, Proteus we should be seeing the Arduino library. Okay, let's go ahead and click schematic capture. Remember before in our list of components or list of devices, we didn't have Arduino library. All right, so you can see in under category, it already has the Arduino. It has the Arduino Mega, the Mini, and the Uno. Now, you can use any Arduino board that you want to simulate, but if you have specific Arduino board, then just go ahead and click whatever is that board. So uh, for me, I have Arduino Mega, but just for the sake of simulation, let's just use Arduino Uno. Okay, so here is our Arduino. You can just add it here. 
Now remember for Arduino Uno, we have a indicator LED that is connected to our pin 13, right? So we can just use pin 13 for our simulation. So we're gonna need, so you need to access the devices again and the list of components. And then we need to search for some resistor to connect to our LED. I'm just gonna use the generic one. Oh, sorry, we need to have the LED. So it's under optoelectronics. And from there we can access in the subcategory, the LEDs. And then we would want to have some animation. So let's just add this animated LED. So for the sake of this simulation, let's just use the blue one. All right. So then we can add the LED. After adding the LED and the resistor under the devices, we can now add it to our schematic. You could also rotate this one if you like. Oops, I connected it automatically, but yeah, that's correct. And then connect it to pin 13. I'm gonna add some ground from the terminals. Uh, I'd like to point out that you need to make sure that your anode, this arrow sign of LED should be connected to the this terminal so that it will be forward biased. And then for the ground, you need to connect to the cathode. So let's change this. You can actually change this to 1K. And then again, why do we need to have why do we need to connect it to pin 13? It's because when you when we access the Arduino IDE, the pre-installed or the pre-made code for blink circuit in the Arduino is using pin 13. So we don't have to edit the code or whatsoever. All right. Now we're done with making the Arduino circuit. Um, we're just going to need to put in the code to simulate the whole thing. So I'm just going to show you that this circuit doesn't have any code because if we run the simulation, nothing happens. Okay, so we don't have any code. So, and there is an error here. Nope. Okay, so let's stop the simulation and let's add the code later. Okay, so we need to access the Arduino IDE. All right, so I already have here a code because I was using Blink before. But if you don't know where to access this, you can go to File and then Examples. And these are the built-in examples that we can use. We can edit. So we're just going to go ahead and click Basics and then Blink. So this is the code of blinking LED. So we can see here that there is a one-second interval for on and off state of our LED. So let's just not edit this code. Let's just use this code to simulate in the proteus. But first, before we compile the code, let's first uh, go to File and Preferences. And then we need to check the compilation because this is where we need to copy the file folder of the hex file. And it's going to make sense later. So click OK. And then make sure that the board that you're using is Arduino Uno just to eliminate some factors that might affect the error in simulation. So we were using Arduino Uno in a Proteo simulator. So we're just going to use Arduino Uno here. But if you've selected another board, we can go to Tools and then Board and then select the corresponding board that you're using to simulate. So we have here Mega, Mini, and so on. Okay, so here we're using Arduino Uno, so it's fine. All right, after which we need to compile or verify this code um, to eliminate or to know if there are errors. But I, because this is a built-in example, I'm sure there is no error. So this one, we cannot click upload because we're not, we don't have any hardware that we're connecting to our computer. So let's just click verify
All right. After verifying, so maximize this one, and we're going to look for the data or the location of our hex file, and we need to copy that. So let's find the hex file somewhere here. All right, this is the hex file. Okay, so this one is the hex. We need this hex file. This is the file that we're going to be using to simulate in the Proteus. So we're going to go, so we're going to copy the file location of the hex file. Copy. Control C. I cannot show you how I copy it. And then let's go back to our Proteus simulator. I accidentally closed it, did I? I did. Yes, please. Nope. Okay, so good thing that I recovered my project. Okay, so this again, this is our Arduino board, our resistor, and our LED. So we need to double click our Arduino. And then here in a program file, this is where we paste the copied text. Okay, so what it does is it will access the hex file in this location. So click OK. All right, so we can now run the simulation using or pressing this play button here. So as you can see, I hope you can see, zoom this a little bit. The LED is blinking every one second, right? It's a little delay, but that's how you simulate our Arduino circuit using the Proteus simulator. So I hope you learned something from this and I hope you have a successful simulation of your Arduino circuit. So that's it for now and hope to see you on my next tutorial. Bye.